Trevor Lawrence having his pro day today. You see him warming up. Jaguars head coach Urban Meyer there watching him warm up. Yeah, that's the guy we're going to take number one overall. Clemson coach Dabo Swinney also there showing support. Lawrence got a, got a picture with all those receivers before they got going. He started out with some short passes to the sideline, eventually working their way down the field. Some red. Every year it's a lot of new things to work on that you kind of notice. So then it's a lot of the same, same stuff, you know, footwork, um, comfortability in the pocket, uh, pocket presence, all that stuff kind of stays the same as far as you need to work on that but then just I think mentally obviously the games and to kind of piece everything together it's a lot of fun so I'm excited to do that but I think that's the biggest thing is just mentally um, defensive recognition playbook all that stuff yeah, he moved his workout from next month to today because he's going to have uh, surgery on his non-throwing shoulder ESPN NFL draft expert Todd McShay joining us now from Clemson Todd you watched Trevor Lawrence throw this morning take us inside the scene uh, of the pro day well, first of all, Jay, the interesting part is that shoulder surgery that he's having and the fact that he moved up his pro day. And the reason he did is because he got a call from Urban Meyer, the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, obviously picking at number one overall and said, you know what? We, because I've been working at Fox as a, a college analyst, we haven't been able to have our scouting staff and the coaching staff see you live throwing the football. Would you mind throwing the ball, you know, before you have surgery on Tuesday? And he said, yeah, sure, I'm a competitor. I'll, I'll go out and do it. And he, and he did it today in really high-end fashion. He missed one throw rolling out to the left. There were a couple throws that, that fluttered a little bit. But otherwise, I thought he was darn near perfect. You watch the red zone area placing the ball high where only his receiver can get it some of the throws down the field vertically and then the timing with receivers you got to rem remember there's only one receiver that he played with last year in Cornell Powell the other three guys that were running routes he's never th he hasn't thrown the ball to so th to have that timing in just two weeks to prepare when quarterbacks usually have seven eight weeks to prepare for this pro day uh, it, it really was impressive to see and, and the best part was watching Urban Meyer about two yards away from the snap every single play and just watching every single move that he had if you had any question if whether or not Trevor Lawrence is going to be the number one overall pick coming into today, it's sealed. What was it that stood out about Trevor Lawrence to you during this setting? Well, first of all, Reese, just as some background, typically you have four or five receivers that you've worked with in college. He had one. And he also had two weeks to prepare. Typically, quarterbacks have seven, eight weeks to prepare with their quarterback coach, in this case, uh, Jordan Palmer. So this was rushed because of the shoulder injury that he has and the surgery that's upcoming on Tuesday on his non-throwing shoulder, the left shoulder. But I thought he was spectacular. I really did. You know, the thing that st stands out, first of all, is the twitchiness, how quick he is with his feet dropping under center, and then how quick he releases the ball and gets the ball high exactly where he wanted to. That's something I look for in all these pro days with the quarterbacks. And, you know, he, he aced another test here today. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.